So, uh, good morning, class. Welcome to our class today. And our topic for today is uh, vegetables. You know what a vegetable is? It is an edible part of a plant with low calorific value. Uh, low or I mean, little or no calorific value. Meaning that they don't, the vegetables don't have a lot of uh, uh, energy in them or uh, sugars, but they are very important in the provision of vitamins and um, what mineral uh, mineral salts. So they are very important in the in the da daily activities of the body. So you know that you have to have a very large. Uh, amount of them on your plate uh, for you to actually uh, live a healthy life. So now I'll I'll show you a, a slide on uh, what vegetables are. Um, yes. So we say that these vegetables are any edible parts of a plant that are consumed by humans as food, as part of our savory meal with little or no calorific uh, value. They mostly contain vitamins and minerals, okay? So they are good for health, for bodily functions, and uh, yeah, such. Then we could actually also look at uh, types of vegetables. Uh, it is important that you know that vegetables are divided into uh, several categories or classes. For example, we can talk of uh, root vegetables, uh, tubers, stems and shoots, pods and seeds, leafy vegetables, fruity vegetables, bulbs and onions, and also we have the mushroom and fungi. So we, we have quite a number of classes so i want us to look at each class when you talk of fruity vegetables what are we looking at we are talking about vegetables that look like like fruits or other that you actually eat the fruit of the plant and examples of these are you can write here Okay, text here, text it here, you can now text. Examples of fruity vegetables. No, uh, beetroot is a root. Beetroot is a root. Please, karibu sana. We are, we've been waiting for you. Uh, please join us. We are, we are, we are writing down uh, any fruity vegetable that we know. Yes, that's good. That's a tomato. It's true. It's a fruity vegetable. Another one. Pardon, what are we discussing? I've just joined right now. Okay, Sorry, I'm we are, uh, Yes, uh, I'm saying we, we, are, we are supposed to be writing down the the fruity vegetables, examples of fruity vegetables that you know. Fruit, I mean, those vegetables that grow in on plants and are, are, are harvested as, as a fruit. Tomato? Yes, they are tomatoes. Mm. Can I say eggplant? Yes, eggplant too. Mm. Onion, onion, onion. Sharon, do do uh, uh, onions are not are not uh, fruit. They are actually bulbs. 
Yes, there are bulbs and, and they grow under. Uh, I mean, they, they, they are harvested from uh, underground. Okay, what about gadgets? Yeah, gadgets. Yes, let me share a screen. Okay, can you see them? Yes? Yes, squash. We have tomatoes. We have uh, hohos or capsicums there. We have pumpkin. We also have squashes. We have cucumbers. We have courgettes and gourds. And of course, we have a, a number of gourds. Gourds are so, so many there. We have like the, the snake gourd and uh, the plain gourd and like almost five varieties of gourds. Then we have eggplants. And uh, okra, you know okra? No. You know okra, ladies' fingers. Use my Congo kakunde. Okra, ah uh, no, you should. Uh, okra is very, very, very. Um, like I would say, very common. Okay. Yeah. You look it looks like uh, it looks like codet but the but the tips are too you know very thin like almost like fingers it's called ladies fingers and then they are, they, they, are, they, are too, they are too thin inside and when you cook it it looks like morenda i think uh, yeah i think i know it yes that that's that's actually um that, that's what do you call it that's okra okay okay yes so those are the fruity vegetables we also have coyotes have you heard of coyotes no uh okay i don't i don't some people call it mashosho yeah machocho have you ever seen something like that mm -mm, no <laughs> Uh, you people, you, 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 you must, uh, I actually have seen this vegetable somewhere. Okay, uh, maybe, maybe I can, I can, uh, Google something for you. Uh, the coyotes. Can you see this? Mm -hmm. Yes, these are the coyotes. They are used in, uh, stews. Uh, you can see the plant right here. Let me show. Yes. Things that look like that. You have seen it, yeah? It looks like it has spikes uh, on the on the cover. Yeah. And then it, it grows like a, a pumpkin, eh? I've never seen that one. <laughs> you have seen this one? No. Okay, uh, let me go back and see. Um, Bansi, have you ever seen that coyote? And uh, Sharon? Sharon? Okay. then uh, th th that's that's what we call a coyote all right uh, so then we can also look at um, root vegetables okay root vegetables someone had uh, had said one of the fruit vegetables is a uh, beetroot but now you can see that we have uh, fruit uh, root vegetables here and uh, beetroot is one of those we look, we have beetroot, and you know beetroot is very red in color, and looks like a turnip, like we use turnips in the kitchen, isn't it? Yes. Yes, so the beetroot and the turnip almost look uh, the same, only that the, the turnip is white in color. Then we have carrots, 
carrots are very common. I'm sure everyone knows them. Then we have a celeriac. A celeriac mm -hmm. looks like, like um like the brain. Just looks like um I don't know um the brain of a what of a person. So let me just type it. You see, celeriac. Yes. Can you see it? Yeah. 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 Can you see this? Mm -hmm. Yes. It looks mm -hmm. like uh, uh, some like a ball, but with uh, so many roots all over. So when you look at it from far, you actually uh, see that it looks like the brain and then of course it looks like it, uh, the leaves look like those of the celery plants eh? so you can see it in all uh into into halves i mean uh longitudinally yeah mm -hmm. yes so that is it you can also see it come uh, in a pico, uh, into this into a uh, casserole and then into like chips okay so that's the celeriac and then we have the horseradish horseradish and radishes are more or less the same thing so let me also add radishes 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 are are uh, red in color they they are two very uh, small and red in color and round and they always come with the leaves now they are harvested with the leaves they are sold with the leaves okay mm -hmm. yes uh i can show you maybe uh, radishes also radishes Can you see them? They yeah. mostly look like yeah. uh, mostly look like this, but I can see that they, they, they are showing new new ones like uh, that are a bit longer. But generally, the radishes are red and round in shape. Okay, so you can see roasted radishes there. The, the inside is white in color. You can see the, the ones that have been sliced. That is how the radish looks like. And then you have the, uh, okay, I don't think this is right because uh, they are putting even beetroots there. I mean, uh, turnips there. So that is, I think we have um, an issue there. Okay, uh, so those are the root vegetables. Um, then of course, after the root vegetables, we have tubers. These are, you know, like a, rela a relationship between tubers and, and, and roots. And this is because both of, I mean, both of them come from, uh, I mean, uh, in, in, in the underground. So the, the fruit is, I mean, the food is coming from under the soil, yeah? But you will notice that uh, tubers uh, mostly grow out of another, you know, another fruit. Like uh, the, the potato, when you want, you're planting potatoes, you actually plant old potatoes and then they grow new ones. The same with the yam. Okay. But the other roots, vegetables, are in a carrot, we have to use seeds. You cannot plant a carrot and get other carrots, isn't it? Yes. So that is the difference. So let me sh now show you the, the uh, root, the tubers. The tubers we have are uh, potatoes. Uh, we have the taros. Taros are actually arrows. Okay. Then we have sweet potatoes and we have yams. We also can uh, have cassava there. Okay. So those are generally the, 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 the tubers that we have. And it is because either you are planting uh, the, 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 some, this food on its own, or you use the, 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 I mean, a stem of it. Like you can, you can plant 
uh, cassava from the stem of the older cassava. And the same for yams. You, you finish harvesting the yam and you use the, the stem that was have, I mean, was holding the other yam and plant it. And then it will give you an, another yam in, uh, in the future. Okay. Yes. Then, of course, yeah. we we can look at um, brassicas. There we have the brassicas. Brassicas are uh, have flowers, or actually, are the flower in there? In the corn flower. Yeah, like cauliflower. Yes, they are the flowers in uh, that, that, that we eat, and that is broccoli, the green one. And, uh, and there are actually many varieties, most of them which are green, but we also have a purple one. And then, of course, we have uh, broco broccolinis. Broccolinis look like broccoli, only that they have they don't look like they, they were yeah, ever able to make a, a flower. Then we have cabbage. And of course, with the cabbage, you have uh, different kinds of cabbage. You have the normal cabbage, the common. The common cabbage, then you have the red cabbage, then you have the savoy cabbage and the napa cabbage. Okay. Then we have the curly kale. We have cauliflower. We have the white, the orange, the purple, and the green. Then we have Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts are very small. They look like cabbages, but very, very tiny, and they grow on a stem. You actually pluck them from a stem. And finally, you have the Romanesco. The Romanesco looks like a, a like a cauliflower with a snail shell. Look. Okay, so I want to show you some of these, uh, the brassicas. So... So you can see the cauliflowers there. In their green, they are white, they are orange and purple colors. And you can also see them here. And then we have the Romanesco. Can you see the, the, the Romanesco? Yeah. It looks like a, a cauliflower. That. Yeah. It looks like it has thorns. It looks like it has shells. Thorns, thorns and shells. <laughs> yeah, they look like shells, more, more or less, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes, so that, those are these. Mm -hmm. And these are broccolinis. Can you see this? Yes. These are broccolinis. They they look like broccoli, but they come in, in, in small stems, yeah? Like in, in an immature broccoli. Yeah. Then, of course, yeah. we have the broccoli yeah. itself. Yeah. Uh, here we have the broccolis come as mekato yeah. into florets. We have this broccoli over here. You can see it. We also have the Brussels sprouts somewhere. Let me look for them. Yes, these are the Brussels sprouts. You can see they look like small cabbages. Have you seen those? Yes, the, 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 the Brussels sprouts and they grow on a stem. Let me look for the stem and see if we can we can be able to view it. Okay, I can see one. Anyway, uh, th th these are the Brussels sprouts. Let me show you others. Here, we have the normal cabbage, the common cabbage. We have the Brussels sprouts. We have the red cabbage. Then we have the Napa cabbage. This one is the Napa cabbage. Then you have the Savoy cabbage. Savoy cabbage. And then you have the cauliflower. Can you see them? Yes. Yeah. I, so that, those are the brassicas. Then, of course, after the brassicas, 
uh, which we call the flowers, we can look at the leafy mm -hmm. vegetables. And then the leafy vegetables, we are looking at kale. <laughs> kale uh, kales are colored green. Then we have mm -hmm. lettuce. You know so lettuce. Nice. Is we have so many kinds, like we have the green, the red, the cross, the cross lettuce, those. Okay, we have spinach. I know you, we, we all know spinach. And uh, we have the red salanova. We have the watercress. Watercress is like some, some very young leaves of, uh, of the mchicha, amaranthas. Then we have chicory or arugula. We have endives. Endives are actually seen under, under leafy vegetables, but they actually look like the brassicas themselves. Then we have. And what is uh, aru What is huh? a arugula? Arugula, the one you've arugula. just said. Arugula. Uh, arugula. Yes, they come a chicory. They are, they are leaves that actually grow like weeds and uh, they look like um uh like spinach like, i mean very young spinach oh. let me show you i think i have here yeah. this is chicory here can you see it oh these ones they're not yes. weeds they are yeah yes those are vegetables and they are called they are called chicory ama arugula. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. Then uh, we have uh, the Napa cabbage also. You can actually have it under the leafy vegetables. And then we have the Swiss chards. Swiss chards and spinach are more or less the same. Only one, that one is uh, a bit, uh, the, the, the leaves are zimejikunja, kidogo kuliko, zingire. The spinach mm -hmm. are very straight where the... The, the, the Swiss chards look like they are crumpled a little. Then we have the bok choy. You know bok choy? Bok choy. Yes, bok choy. Or um, the, what do we call them? Let me see. Uh, let me look for them somewhere here. B bok choy look like Something that I wanted to form like a cabbage and then it was unable to form. So uh, the leaves are a bit uh, pam, uh, like long and straight, but they are in a bunch. Okay, I don't think I have it here. Let me let me look for it. Uh, we have um, bok, soy. Yeah. Those ones. There. I'm sure we can all see them. So they they look like uh, some uh, some cabbages that were uh, I mean a cabbage that wanted to form and then uh, it was edible and uh, the leaves are, are very straight or uh, more or less like a leek. It looks like a leek. Okay. So, and then of course we have watercress. Watercress is uh, some leaves, zinakaka mahabs, or uh, what you call uh, the, 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 what? The, the very young leaves of mchicha um, or terere. So I've shown you the, uh, the, uh, the watercress, the, 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 the ed leaves. No, I've not shown you the edives. I'll show you the edives. We have. I've shown you the napa cabbage. I've shown you the Swiss chards, the the bok choy and the, the the watercress. Let me show you the watercress. I think I've written it twice. Okay, so let me look for watercress. So uh, let me show you the endive first. We have this kind of endive. This one here. 
and you also have this other one that is italian chicory sorry So the endives are here, the, Belgi the Belgian endives are here. We also have this other kind of endive that looks like uh, the, the, bok the bok choy, but with a watercress kind of leaves. You can see it, yeah? So those ones here, this the, the endives, these also are endives. We have the red one and the yellow one. Yes. Okay, then I think uh, the watercress, the watercress, uh, let me see whether I can find it here. Okay. Watercress. It looks like some very green leaves or i mean very young leaves of of terere you can see them here these ones these ones all of these are the watercress you can eat them in salads or blanch them lightly and uh eat them all those are watercresses okay then we have um bulbs Bulbs are the red onions, the white onions, the fennel, the garlic, the leek, the spring onions, and the shallots. What is okay. fennel and shallot? Fen a shallot is a kind of an onion that, that looks like a barrel. Okay? The fennel also uh, looks like, um, that, like the leek, like, but the... the, the the, the the bulb looks white and uh, roundish eh? and we can actually get uh, when it grows it, it can give you what we call um seeds and we call them fennel seeds and they become a uh, spice eh? so let me look at bulb uh, we can have a number okay so here we have the onions so we have the white onions and the red onions here then we have the the spring onions the spring onions look like this but of course uh they they they, they look like any growing onion wherever it is eh? so i'll be showing you the the spring onions of uh, themselves then we have um the shallot you see where this uh, onion looks like eh? can you see this onion that is how a shallot looks like it is red in color but it looks like a barrel let me show you um... yes onions look i mean shallots look like this i can show you uh in a, in a in a few minutes so let me also look for spring onions but I know we, we all know spring onions. The, the kitungu, majani majani. I'm sure we all know it. Yeah? Okay. So, uh, shallot, shallot, shallot. Shallot. Yes, you can look at them and see that they, they, they are all red in color, but the shape is a bit uh but i mean it's like a barrel shape those are what we call shallots and most of the time of course here yeah, we, we 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 just call them kitungu so it's it's more or less the the nino but if you look at it you you find, uh, find that it does not have a round shape but looks like 
like a, a barrel, a barrel, yeah, pombe. I don't know, I don't know what, what, what how else I would call it. So here we have the red onion, the salad, and the garlic. You can see them right there. So we have the spring onions here. Can you see the spring onions? Yeah. Yes, we have the spring onions right there. Yeah, yeah, we have uh, other traditional. Uh, these are the ones that uh, that has not have not actually grown yet. So they, they still call them the green shallots. Okay, so those are the shallots. Okay, then we look at stems and shoots. Uh, the stems and shoots we have. Uh, asparagus, bamboo shoots, bean sprouts, the kohlrabi, the celery, and the kadun and the fidocock. So let me uh, show you. Stem and shoots. Okay, the, the, the very common one is there, the asparagus. Can you see that asparagus? Yeah. And then we have the artichoke. This one here. And the, when you eat the, the, the fennel, can you see the fennel now? If you use it as a vegetable, it can also be called, uh, the, the, if you eat the, 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 the stem part, it's called the, it's also under the, the, the stems, but generally it is a bulb. If you look at it, you will find that it looks like an onion, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Then, of course, we have celery. All those are uh, under the, the stems. Uh, shoots. Let me see whether you can see shoots. Okay, taro roots are here. The, so the stems of the arrow roots are also eaten as vegetables in some uh, in some places. So that is why we are uh, we are being shown there the taro root stems. Yes, then we have the bamboo shoots. Let me show you. Here we have the bamboo shoots. Can you see them? These, these two leaves that are growing here are eaten uh, as a vegetable, and they are called the bamboo shoots. Then, of course, bamboo. we have uh, bean sprouts. Sorry? We eat bamboo. <laughs> bamboo. Yes, the, bamboo are just the, leaves, the leaves. Yeah, the leaves are eaten. Yeah, uh, maybe let me just look at uh, shoots on their own. I think it's giving us the same thing. But you can see uh, there we have sprouts here, like uh, green pea shoots, or what you call sprouts. Let me see this picture here.
uh, okay it's not giving me the, the kind of results that i needed okay um Okay, let me show you shoots, uh, some, some of them. Like in this picture. You can be able to see th these are uh, sprouts here and uh, we have beans like the green beans they are also a uh, part of the shoots although they are under they're also under uh, pods and seeds a very good example sprouted beans i'm a bean sprouts you can see them you can uh, we can cook them with the uh, chinese vegetables you can see these ones right here yes and you also have these other ones here uh you can uh, you can sprout even dengu and cook them as uh sprouts okay uh, yeah. so then we look at what else yeah the mushrooms we we generally know the mush uh, the, the button mushroom and the other mushroom that, that, that is white and looks like a house um with a white stem and then also we have uh, others called the horns of plenty the morels and truffles and all of these others are fungi well uh, mushrooms are also uh, i mean under the the fungi is like they are on their own i can uh, get you a photo of the mushrooms Okay, so we have uh, different kinds of the, the mushrooms. Like this one here is uh, is actually edible. And I think this one is the, the, the most common that we know. And this one here. Okay, and then we have the button mushroom, the ones that we, are, we, we, we get uh, in our kitchen if we ask for mushrooms, but they are a bit white. This one are uh, looking a bit brown in color. Yes, so we also have uh, here when they are growing the button mushrooms right there. So those all these are different kinds of uh, mushrooms and fungi that are there. We have oyster mushrooms, they are here, and they are also very common. Yes, those are the mushrooms. And then finally, we look at the pods and seeds. Here we have all those uh, kinds. We have the, the, the broad beans. The munch out, the uh, as her mother has called the grasta beans. Grasta, grasta beans. Okay, we have the broad beans, the grasta beans. We have the munch out. Munch out ni come as no pea. Okay, that, that uh, is the green pea when it has not uh, matured and then you harvest it and uh, you uh, you cook the whole pod that is generally what we call the snow pea and then we have french beans uh, we are very familiar with french beans 
haricot vats and french beans are more or less the same thing then you have green peas like minji i'm sure all of you know minji and then you have green peas like other peas that are eaten when they are green like um mbazi sometimes you go to the i mean to town and find some women selling uh, some peas with with a with a pinkish uh, color around the eye but it is green in color it is called the pigeon pea and it is it is I'm, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry about that. Someone, someone called my phone and it disengaged us. Um, we were looking at some vegetables. So like here, they, they, they have put some root vegetables, although they have also put some rhizomes and uh, tubers and bulbs. I can see some onions there, but you can see the beetroot, you can see the turnip, the radishes, the carrots, and the parsnips. Okay, uh, then I think I, uh, we shall talk about uh, preparation of vegetables. The preparation of vegetables right there you can see we have uh washing and of course we done uh, with uh, lots of water or water from a running tap a clean water from a running tap this is of course to uh, to to remove impurities and uh, any foreign matter then we have the seeding where you remove the seeds of vegetables uh then we have peeling and uh, we have uh skinning peeling is removing the whole skin then skinning is removing the outermost layer of skin then we have shelling shelling is removing of uh, seed from pods removing of seeds from pods like for minji or green peas okay then of course we have uh, cutting of course you cut in different uh, shapes and of, of course here you can look at um uh, cuts of vegetables So here we have different cuts of vegetables and we can uh, have different kinds like the brunoise, the jardinier, the makedoa, the chiffonade, all those. You can uh, look at them later. Then we have topping and tailing. And the topping and tailing, we are looking at cutting the edges of all. Like when you are making those French beans, you have to cut uh, the, the both ends before cooking them and then there's blanching and refreshing i'm very sure we are very familiar with blanching and refreshing because it's actually 
is actually part of uh, what we are we, we do every day in the kitchen that you steep your vegetables in very hot water and then to refresh you uh, throw the plants vegetables into iced cold water. water i'm a very very cold water until all the heat disappears to stop the cooking process okay uh, so i think um you can also look at how to store vegetables storage of vegetables uh, many vegetables uh, like root vegetables uh, that grow underground can be stored in a root uh, collar or in a cool dark and dry, dry place make sure that wherever you're putting your potatoes and your carrots if you are you don't have a fridge is a very cool and very dark place otherwise they'll start growing shoots and they will become withered so you just make sure that they have they, they are in the dark that they do not have any kind of light that way they will not grow leafy vegetables should be stored in plastic bags or sealed pl plastic containers but very, for a very short period of time you can also store your root vegetables in beans or racks, but also for a very short period of time. Uh, salad vegetables should be stored in cool places and also left in their containers. All those uh, watercresses, lettuces, you keep in a cool place and in their containers. Then you have frozen vegetables. You, you can store at negative 18, not, 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 not um, uh, just 18. Frozen vegetables are stored at negative 18 centigrades or below. And all vegetables should be stored in a cool, uh, dry, well ventilated room. Okay, at a uh, different temperature of four to eight degrees. That is in a, like a cold room. The fresher the vegetable there, better the flavor. So it is most advisable that we don't keep our vegetables. We just make sure that we, 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 we buy them fresh and eat them as they are, uh, when they are fresh. Okay. All right. Uh, how do we cook vegetables? We can fry them. Mm -hmm. mm. Steam. Yes, I think we, we can we can have our page back and I think we can it is still shared so we can use it. Uh, how how can we uh, we can steam vegetables also? Boil them. We can also, yes, we can also boil them and uh, maybe especially for salads you can boil. Yes. Others can just be blanched and refreshed and eaten in salads, right? Yes. 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 What are you doing? Turn on radio. You use the radio later on. Okay. Uh, so, so we we look at um different ways of uh, cooking vegetables. We can steam vegetables where we actually cook with very little heat, uh, maybe, maybe in a bain-marie, where the food, the vegetables are not getting into contact with the source of heat. So you have like a, a, a big soufriere with hot water, then the soufriere that you're cooking the vegetables in, and then place it on top of the other soufriere, and then uh, cover with a little salt and maybe very little oil or none, and then serve them. And you can just use salt and other spices, and serve the vegetables as such and they'll be very good then you can also boil the vegetables maybe in a little salt in a, in a little salt in a little salty water and serve them uh, straight we can also blanch vegetables especially blanch and fresh for salads we can fry vegetables like shallow fry stir fry or vegetables we can also deep fry them but deep frying is uh, not a very healthy method of cooking vegetables so that is why we kind of uh thrown down upon it and then we can also grill or roast vegetables in fact they are the most uh i mean 
taste they, they are the tastiest of vegetables and uh, they don't have to have a lot of oil maybe a little only for baking you can uh, cook your vegetables like your your stuffed vegetables baked uh, stuffed vegetables that is baking them or you can grill them you cut them into equal shapes and uh, put them spread, well spread uh, spread out in you know on a, a roasting tray and then put them in the oven with the grill on and then turn them to the other side very few minutes and they, they look crispy and with a, a tinge of brown and serve them when they are hot so there are so many ways of cooking our vegetables we, 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 can, we don't lack for meadows okay yeah so unless maybe we have uh, uh, i want to hear the questions first before i ask mine Yes, can we? You can type, you can type your answer. You can type on this on that screen here. Where you see the T. The tea is not working. I have none. No questions. Okay. Um, Bansi. Okay. Uh, I want to ask my own questions now. All right. So, uh, out of all these vegetables in their classes, where can we use them in cookery? Apart from on vegetables, are they, uh, uh, I mean, on their own. Where else can we use these vegetables? Where can we use them? Yes, some can be used in the making of salads. Others? We can also, also use some in making of stews, like uh, stews. Okay, so let me share. Let me share uh, a table that has the, the the vegetables, and then uh, we show we see the uses of those vegetables. Some can be used in baking. Sorry. Some can be used in baking. Uh, baking of. Cakes. Yes, they can be used in pastries. Okay, so um, here we have a, a table on um, vegetables, and uh, I mean the, the classes and their uses. Like if you look at from the top there, we have roots. Where can we use the roots? We can use them for soups and salads and uh, vegetables on their own. Uh, for all uh, root vegetables then we can have tubers and we can use them in uh, soups fries or like chips and snacks and desserts like the, the sweet potatoes we can use them for making uh desserts you can also use arrow root fly in making desserts okay uh, we have yams there we can roast them we can uh, and eat them as a as, as a starch so we can actually also use most of them as starches as uh, as starch dishes for root uh, for the roots and their tubers okay bulbs mostly uh, we use them um, in uh, the cooking of stews and
um, sauces and also for salads. Okay. You can see there, use, uh, uh, they can be used raw in salads. They can be used in other various forms of cookery, like in soups, sauces, stews, and uh, as vegetables on their own, like you can make uh, what? Uh, French onions and uh, such. Then we ha also have leafy vegetables. Some, some, some things there are not... Yes. Okay. Uh, we have lettuce, we uh, spinach, those red salovers, watercress, and then we have uh, you can use them in salads and in wrapping other foods uh, for soups, garnishing, and uh, in uh, uh, salads again. We have brassicas, we can also use them in soups and salads. We can uh, use them to wrap others, like the cabbages, the leaves of cabbages. We can do braised cabbage and put something inside there and uh, braise them. Then we have uh, pods and seeds. Pods and seeds can be eaten in salads. They can be cooked in their shells and served as vegetables, like the, the munch tout. We can also use them uh, as vegetables on their own. Also, also uh, use them in uh, stews, like uh, the Creole type of stew. Ile stew, they, you call mashakura from the, the beef stew that you call mashakura with all the peas and such other things inside there. Okay? Stems and shoots can be cooked in salad, can be eaten raw in salad and also cooked as vegetables. Like asparagus, we can boil them and then uh, give them as a vegetable or even a, a starter and uh, with a dip like horseradish, horseradish sauce. I'm sorry. Yeah. Then fruity vegetables also used a, lo a lot in salads, in soups, and um, in sandwiches. They can also be used to garnish other foods like uh, you can use ho-ho, tomato, I mean to uh, cucumbers uh, for garnishing other foods. Then you can also make uh, use them to make uh, stews in stews like where we use tomato puree. Uh, we can also use them in making of soups. Then we have uh, mushroom and fungi. We can use them in in um, making of soups. Uh, in making soups. And uh, as in, in stews and in stews and as vegetables on their own. Okay, so we can have uh, them in uh, soups and in stews. Where else can we find these mushrooms? We can also find them in. Um, uh, like in lasagna and in lasagna. And musaka. Okay. Lasagna and musaka are very, 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 uh, very similar dishes, but lasagna is Italian and musaka is French. They tend to use um, minced meat, and uh, mushrooms, eggplants, and a lot of cheese. And of course, the, the, the lasagna sheets. So th that is it. Lasagna, we, we talked about it in uh, pasta. And I, that reminds me, you have uh, my assignment that I don't think you have handed in. Have you handed in your assignment? Have you handed in your assignment?
Okay, so I think if you don't have any issues, then uh, we can stop our recording.